Hello everyone, my name is Brother Pius. I'm a seminarian with the Friars and I live in Yonkers, New York. And we received a question that is one that I think that all of us are gonna struggle with at some point. What do I do with my pain? Such a deep question. In fact, Pope John Paul II said in Salvifici Dolores that pain and suffering are one of the most essential mysteries that we face as human beings. One of the most essential mysteries that we face as human beings. So what about pain? Certainly, although some people in the history of the church thought pain was a good thing, it's not. The church does not teach that pain is a good thing and we shouldn't go looking for suffering, but suffering will come. Suffering will come. And so when suffering comes into our life, I think that there's a couple of things that are important for us to do. First of all, is to turn to Jesus. Jesus knows our suffering. Jesus was crucified for us, and if anybody knew pain, it was the man of sorrows. That's a title for Jesus, the man of sorrows. So to bring our suffering to Jesus and to ask him to take it away if he can. Even Jesus asked to be relieved of his suffering when he was in the garden. So we can ask Jesus to deliver us from evil as we pray in the Our Father. But if the Lord wills us, for whatever mysterious reason, to endure our suffering, then our suffering can actually become a powerful tool in our hands. How, you might ask? Well, we can take our suffering and use sort of spiritual jujitsu to take our suffering and offer it back to Jesus. Just like Jesus offered his sufferings for the sake of our sins, so we can unite ourselves to Jesus' suffering and say, Jesus, in union with your cross, I offer you this suffering for souls, for my cousin who's having problems, for my sister, for all these situations that we're dealing with in our world. We can take it and our suffering becomes a powerful tool that we can then offer back to the heart of the Father. God bless you. Mm -hmm.